going to suck it up and quit screaming. Melman, put a sock in it. Okay, guys, we got to get off this island before we all lose our minds. We need to rebuild Alex's rescue beacon so we can get out of here. Did I overhear something about a rescue beacon? I can take care of that for you. Really? Wilbur, I could just kiss you. If I hadn't already washed once today. Well, I've got good news and bad news. All right. Let's get the bad news over with first. The bad news is that your rescue beacon burned down. We know we'll never get off of Cannibal Island. Pipe down, Melman. So, tell us the good news. Well, there are some materials you could use for a new beacon scattered all over this beach. If you can find all of them, I know some lemurs that can probably put it together. So, uh, Gloria, how about that kiss? How about we get this beacon together first? Hey, baby, I've got a little problemo with these crabs. Oh, joy. They're always pinching me, and believe it or not, I'm not quite as quick on these cloven hooves as I used to be. Maybe you can squash some of them for me? If it helps me find a piece for the beacon, I'm a squashing machine. Well, if you can squash enough of them in time, there's a piece of the rescue beacon in it for you, as well as some quality FaceTime with yours truly. <laughs> Look, but don't find some. Nice work. Now, what say we talk about us? Well, hello again. I think one of the pieces for the rescue beacon is hidden inside these crates. What say we harness our natural chemistry and work together to smash open the crates before the tide rolls in and takes them out to sea? I must say that we complement each other well. Teamwork? But you didn't open a single crate. Uh, no. I, I definitely took out a few. <sighs> At least I got another piece for the rescue beacon. Thanks, I guess. That's mine. Ah, 
Your turn, Marty. I'm taking a mud bath. Sounds good, Glory. For you, I mean. Tortoises are giving me trouble. They keep knocking the fruit out of my tree. I tried asking them to stop, but that only seemed to excite them all the more. C can you take them out for me? No problem. Those turtles won't be bothering you or your fruit anymore. Let's just say I'm gonna make them an offer they can't refuse. Oh, that's great. Uh, thanks a million. You do mean you're gonna kick them, right? Right. Watch it! Whatever happened to the slow nice turtle? You turtles have just met your match. Well, better than your match, actually. These shells are made for kicking. Whatever happened to the slow nice turtle? Turtles have just met your man. You've done it! Those turtles never knew what hit them. You take this piece for the rescue beacon back while I sit here and eat a lot, okay? Still lose. Number one, defeat him. Don't mess with me, man. <laughs> oh, come on. Now I got the cock mad at me, too. Number one sucked anyway. Number two, take him out. You better watch it. I ain't one of those wimpy nature videos, Zebra. <laughs> See, you've defeated my pupils. Your technique is not as weak as I suspected, but I'm an enemy.
Your technique is impressive. You have defeated me. Just for Andy. Trained professional should attempt these kind of risky stunts. I don't think I'm wearing Melman, our scouts have located a crucial piece for the rescue beacon. It's resting on that rock over there, and I think you just might have the savvy to help us retrieve it. Savvy? I've got the savvy? Oh no, I'm gonna die! No, Melman, pull yourself together. Savvy means talent or ability. Oh, oh, phew. French words like that usually mean something terrible. Anyway, the plan here is to have you use that great long neck of yours to fling three lemurs onto that rock. Once you get them up there, they should be able to bring home the beacon. Yes! Hurry up, Melman. You still got two more to go. Yes! Be careful with this last one. You've got a long throw to make. Yes! Nice throw. That should do the trick. Now take your... Now, Gloria, I believe we have the matter of a kiss to discuss? Oh, yeah. Pucker up and close your eyes and you will get a big surprise. Psst. Melman, you do it. Not a chance. Who knows where that snout's been? Just picture him as a big giant peanut. Plus, I'll make it up to you. <laughs> Ooh, baby, that was a kiss. <laughs> I shut my eyes, but I still see it. Me too. Well, it's over now, so we just wait here and... Uh, Marty, you okay? I just... I can't live without Alex. But Marty, he tried to eat you. Well, I probably deserved it for getting us into this mess. And besides, I'd gladly take a thousand bites on the butt if it means saving my friend. 
A hundred. A dozen. Three. You can stay here and keep an eye out. I'm going back for Alex. You don't even know where he is. I'll find some help. See ya.